हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट इफ द कार पासिस पॉइंट ए विद स्पीड ऑफ 20 मीटर पर सेकंड सो लेट्स से दैट वी ए वेलोसिटी इज इक्वल टू 20 मीटर पर सेकंड एंड इट इज सेड दैट इट बिगिंस टू इंक्रीज इट्स स्पीड एट अ कांस्टेंट रेट ऑफ सो वी आर गिवन द tangential acceleration right so tangential acceleration is equal to v dot which is 0.5 meter per second square and in this problem we are asked to determine the magnitude of the car's acceleration right so we are required to find the car acceleration which is equal to a t square plus a n square under the root 2 right so we are required to find this magnitude when s is equal to 101.68 and x is equal to 0 so now uh, we have this equation v dv equals to at ts and at is 0.5 which is constant right so this is 0.5 so we need to integrate this from initial velocity to final velocity and this is from 0 to s or uh, the s value is let's say 101.68 so then this will be v square divided by 2 and this will be from 20 to v and this will be 0.5 s and this will be from 0 to 100 and 1.68 <coughs> so now uh, if if i multiply this two on the other side so then this will be v square from 20 to v and this will be 2 into 0.5 is 1 s so this will be from 0 to 100 and 1.68 so this will be v square minus 20 square and this will be 101.68 right so this will give us the velocity at s equals to 101.68 and this will be equal to 20 square plus 101.68 so when we solve this so velocity comes out to be 22.398 meter per second right so this is the velocity when s is equal to 101.68 now to uh, since we know the tangential acceleration to find the normal acceleration so normal acceleration is equal to v square divided by rho so first we need to find this rho so we know the equation for the radius of the curvature which is 1 plus dy by dx whole square to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by d square y divided by dx square absolute value so we have this equation so for this equation we need to find this first derivative of y of x function and the second derivative of y of, of x function right so y of x function is given so we can say that y is equal to 16 minus 1 divided by 625 x square so dy by dx the derivative of this will be 0 and this will be minus 2 x divided by 625 and we want to find this radius of curvature at this condition so x is equal to 0 so when i put x is equal to 0 in this equation so dy by dx is equal to 0 and then i have to take another derivative so this will be d square y divided by dx square and the second derivative will be minus 2 divided by 625 right and now if i substitute these value in this equation so we will get the radius of curvature so the radius of curvature will be equal to 1 plus 0 square to the power 3 divided by 2 and this this is the absolute value right so we will write 2 divided by 625 right and we can write that this row this will be 1 to the power 3 divided by 2 so this will be 1 divided by 2 divided by 625 or we can say that row is equal to 625 divided by 2 and when we solve this so row comes out to be 312.5 meters so now we know this radius of curvature value so we can find this acceleration the component of the acceleration the normal component of the acceleration which is equal to v square so v is 22.398 whole square and divided by this row which is 312.5 meters so this will be equal to 
1.605 meter per second square and now we can find the acceleration magnitude that will be 80 square so 80 is 0 0.5 whole square plus 1.605 whole square and the acceleration magnitude comes out to be 1.681 meter per second right so this is the solution of this particular problem